Hello, welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. Operations available for priming. Still just exploring, uh, completing quests, and building up our economy. Nothing too exciting going on at the moment. Wait. Move over land and water hexes. It says 16 base movement cost, but is that... Hmm. I wonder if being amphibious um, provides a bonus there. I need to pay attention to that next turn. It should. Alright, I guess we're very slowly making our way down to this quest, and then back up this way. Ah... Uh... Early game movement is pain. Why? Okay. Oh, nice. Food bonus. And 10 happiness to the colony. Uh, except that that's not part of my territory yet. It's important to imagine this patch of land without the raging hell fracture. Okay, hazard removal, very nice. So if there are rivers on the planet, I might actually need to get aquatic deployment at some point. Get more Cosmite. I have two Cosmite nodes already, so it's not that urgent. Food. Okay, pitiful amounts of research. Was defended. few more units. Now what does our other army look like? Our other army has eight units too. Problem is Okay. Requires an army. I'm going to start building forward bases just so I have roads. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I am not doing this. Anytime soon, I don't think. Incoming communication. I do not trust you yet. I think our futures would be better together. Okay, I can live with that. You are an elitist. I suck. Okay. Colony established. Good uh, prognosis towards our future relationship. Great, and just like that, we have roads leading all the way through this area. Production ready. Okay, questionable scrap should probably also be research. Yeah. Happiness event in colony. Nice, some influence would be much useful. 
Very useful, I should say. Yeah, I knew it. It's the problem with using two stacks. Just trying to save some movement on my, ma my main army by not having them spend the movement points to attack. Oh, are they all charging? All charging down here. That kind of makes sense then as to why somebody would have died. Okay, well, we're just going to run. Overdrive. I can make one of my units take an extra action. Available. They're really going over this way, huh? Things back to life. Yeah, you already have. Already have that, huh? Also, you explode on death, I remember. Canceling defense mode. That's unfortunate. Because now I have to take damage. And what are these grazes? Enemy down. That's fine. And it's back right away, huh? Okay. Enemy eliminated. Enemy 
Is Joking Mickey weaker? Uh, less accuracy and damage. Not the kind of weaker I was hoping for, but... That's fine, I guess. Enemy killed. That makes you weaker. Alright. Uh, reconstruction doesn't actually heal somebody, though. It just brings them... Uh, well, it doesn't even bring them back. It does something else. Our forces are victorious. It's fine. I get the auto-heal for finishing the battle because I'm assembly. Objective completed. Let's take the reward. Yeah. Road should help a bit, and a level up. Nice. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. We're against a lot of native life and Kirko on this planet, so I don't think being able to mind control and mechanical units is going to be all that useful. Could take the accuracy, though. That's always nice. Probably just that for now. Do I have any mods yet? I'm already integrated, because of course I am. Uh, arc Impact. Could get an Arc Impact module. In which case... Yeah, I think we're going to do that and that. And switch back to... An electrical uh, sniper. Now that we have a mod that affects it. Extra impact level. You already do high impact stagger, right? But with this, you now do massive impact stagger with your sword. That's nice. Massive impact stagger with your grenade. Useful to have. Uh, you are melee, so let's give you a guardian demon shell for the defense. Uh, that's not as necessary. I think accuracy is not as not not as big a deal for melee. So we'll just do that. Uh, also, you leveled up. Take one damage for six points. Uh, battlefield repairs is a commander ability. So I've already got it. I guess we'll go personal, wep personal weapons expert again. That increases everything. That's nice. Steady aim and watchman, not so useful for you. Yep, that's fine. Oh, yeah, already, already did that. Uh, while I'm in the process of actually modding my units. Secretor is really nice because it has that encase ability, so even though I don't have mods that work with biochemical, I think I'm just going to keep it. In your case, targeting demon, because uh, I remember your accuracy not being the best. And that's probably fine for you. Okay. Regular troops don't have the uh, privilege of getting mods just yet. We're still, still too poor in the early game for that. We are going to... Deal with the this nest over here. Ah, there's these as well, but there's just too much to do. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll explore up. So it says 16. What does it take? Six. Okay. It's doable. Also, anytime I see a place like this, like I could just grab the resources inside, like do a trade, trade a little bit of influence for a bunch of food or something, right? 
Uh, you are actually coming back to base. So I want to use you as a combat unit. Okay, information is information. Something up there. Still have an opponent we haven't met yet. I'm curious what that's about. Not really any point in going over the mountain. Go up. The stadium has more food, more food. So far away though, I'd just be... Well, I guess I'd be clearing... Clearing other stuff, but the other use for my influence is to make friends with somebody, because I need to take an autonom base at some point. So I want to be integrated with the autonom. That's uh, a pretty important goal at this point. For one of my quests. Mining laser. I would, I would get that for my my sentinels and my monitors, I guess. The uh, the base units that I have wouldn't really benefit from it. The this unit is network compatible, allowing it to benefit from networked. Oh, that's actually really cool. Have I never read this? Because I was using these a lot before. Right, because being networked is different from being integrated. Integrated is sort of my secret tech stuff, whereas networked is all this. Okay, well that's something to keep in mind. We'll probably get that at some point. Okay, Opgren. What type of village are you going to be? I see a couple of overgrown biodomes, but these are not really places I want to have food. Especially not this one. I think you're going to be a production center. Because it's always good to have those. Proposal. Non-aggression pact. I am a fan of the non-aggression packs early on. Demand energy for Cosmite. Uh, no. Alright. How much you want to bet they're going to spawn an attack force next turn? I think it's highly likely. Yeah, and this is why uh, this is why we can't we can't deal with this because we've got this problem. Oh. Um. Oh, tier three is behind tier two. Hey. Okay. This could be a tough fight. Sure, we can play it. play it better than the AI. Part of the problem with this fight is that it has to be a six on six. I can't. Um, a force projector. Interesting. I'm just checking the attack range on their stuff. There's range seven, right? Five for the tank. Seven for a bunch of other stuff. Uh, gun turret's probably going to be seven. And then some melee.
see if they come to me. I'm not doing very well in this fight, am I? No, definitely not. Operations available. And I missed, of course. Um get where I want to be. Okay, encased for two turns, that's good. You just get to do this every turn, right? There's no... Wait, no, you did that. Wide Force Blast. Single target, okay. I mean, those aren't great odds. You're just dead. Pretty much no matter what I do. That purifier is kind of scary. want to run through the fire. But I guess I'm just accepting that you're going to die. Enemy destroyed. Okay. Wasn't really much point in doing that. Oh boy, let's see what happens. Bad things happen, that's what happens. Okay, well, if you're spending your turn purifying, that's really good for me, because it means I'm not taking damage this turn. Uh, of course. Purification field is a free action. No, my bees! Oh, is everybody still alive?
Okay, well, we can start doing some damage now. Okay, we can kill the turret. Which is not the most exciting thing. I think the bees. Come on, bees. Oh, you've been staggered pretty heavily. Oh, this is unfortunate. the range on this? Range 1. You're not actually dead yet. I do need to spend an action killing you. Which is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Enemy down. Can't believe I missed. You just have to stand here and Take a shot. Ah, something blew up. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I was was expecting that. Unit offline. Was expecting that. Okay. Hmm. I did this. Oh, I can't actually get down there. Oh, this is an awful position. I guess we run around and try to encase. Okay. Uh, you being dead would make me very happy. Down. Okay. This tank is still a problem though. It's gonna it's gonna wreck everything. If I don't want you to die. Uh is this gonna be off cooldown? Can't use ability for one turn. Let's not be clumped up, just in case. Yeah. I'm definitely losing my unit. Oh. 
I was lucky. Enemy down. Okay, this was rough, but I think we managed to pull through here. Enemy eliminated. Uh, you don't explode or anything, do you? The assembly march on. Well, that's better than losing everything, for sure. Venom Sniper. Oh, that's a lot of food. I think we're taking it just for the food. I don't care about the sniper, but... Take that for the food, and we got more food. And plus one status effect resistance in units built in this colony. Cool. And because we're assembly, we don't look too terrible at the end of all that. Leveled up. Personal weapons expert. I do like this ability a lot. Learned. What kind of commander abilities do you have? Infantry, right. Personal weapons expert is more accuracy than um, the eye, so take that. Computer system. Nice. Got some more tech. Working our way up to the network links. to expand out in this direction, didn't I? Yep. I thought there was lots of space, so I wasn't in a hurry, but looks like... Well, I guess I can still expand up here. That's going to be cutting it pretty close. So that last battle I did, I think I actually got kind of lucky with some of the rolls. I should have lost more than I did based on the way I was playing. It's nice to have a battle where I feel like the RNG didn't completely screw me over for once. Alright, well. Upgrade both our research sectors. Crystal shotgun, do not care. Can't I just build these? Oh, it's so little energy. But I'm not going to be equipping heroes with this anyway. So the energy is better than an item I'll never use. Well, everybody's building. On, yes or no? There it is. 
There's always one. Ah, Amazon. Yet another reason not to... not to go anti-mechanical. May the light of the star guides shine upon you, Ellen Shaw. Come and join us as we pray for the tainted soul of Gardeep XX. Okay, you're probably Celestian. This planet has had to suffer much at the hands of those who littered, polluted, and poisoned its soul, and its lamentations became unheard echoes within a toxic wasteland. We Amazons have reshaped and mended many worlds to restore their natural equilibrium. However, in Gardeep XX, the degradation is the most severe. Your arm is most severe. Is more severe. I guess that's the same as the most severe. Your people seem well adapted to this hostile environment. We have seen them collect and recycle much of the waste without succumbing to its toxic effects. Maybe if you share your filtering technology, we can modify it for our purposes and start the healing process of the planet. Ah yes, you look upon the assembly and see us as healing. The exchange of filter modules is not restricted and therefore a valid option. Let me point out, however, that it will be more efficient to concentrate your efforts on less contaminated planets and leave Guardi XX to its former function. The weak and ugly cannot just be abandoned, my child. There is a place for everyone in the Celestian Light. Maybe I can invite you to one of our ceremonies one day to demonstrate the meaning of those words. Uh, not gonna lie, I'd actually be kind of interested in playing Assembly Celestian. That just amuses me. It is a possibility. Examining psionic techniques and potential up close could prove to be fascinating, but for now we must return to the subject at hand, the filter modules. We will consider replicating them for you. Okay, we can build detoxification filters. Uh, let's see, some of the simplest filtering technology. She wants to adapt it to aid her long-term goal of restoring Guardian XX's environment to its former glory. Of course, we're going to accept that. And we've met the last uh, of our opponents. Colony infrastructure. Breakthroughs in gravitic containment. More influence. And dampening. More cosmite. Wonderful stuff all around. At this point, uh, oh, social reconstruction. Jack into the brains of your colonists to borrow spare processing power. They're probably not using it anyway. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, all colonists provide one extra research, but our colonies suffer for happiness. We could go real hard on the research if we wanted to. Uh, neural interfacing colonists to imperial data cores found in runes can provide a boost to research. Colony gains 10 knowledge income for each rune sector within its domain. Wow. That goes super hard on research. Uh, I think I am going to grab aquatic deployment just for that river navigation. It's, uh, it's a quick upgrade. So let's just get that. Because there are a few rivers. And then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Level 1 assembly, it uh, doesn't matter that you have a blade because we can uh, always swap that out. Sinumbra. Hmm. Damage the target, heal the caster. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh uh, yeah, we could take a Sinumbra hero. Don't know if I want you to be melee though, I think I've got... I was like, why is this red? But then I was like, no, it's because it's fire damage. I thought it was... Not not because I can't use it. That's not the issue at all. I can use it. So we'll give you the Veldfire. Relatively close range, but... Hits really hard. And secondary, I guess you probably just get a static bomb. Uh, or we could give you an Imperial Launcher, so you have a... Once per battle, long range attack. Yeah, you're just going to be damage. That's that is your function. Your function is damage. Um, targeting demon, then. Let's not miss. Okay. Unfortunately, I just spent a whole bunch of energy, which means I'm not getting... Um, I'm not getting another colonist anytime soon. Uh, we're going to park you here for now. How many turns do I have left on this? Uh, that's not the one. Six turns? Probably not going to happen. That's a pretty tough army. Production ready.
And I'm just building gardens anyway. Not that I have the energy to build more units at the moment. Production ready. Yeah. Get those happiness boosts going. Increase trespassing. And I got three notifications for that? Really? Seems a bit excessive. Who are you guys guarding? Gravity generator. Send in the flyer. Works for me. And turn on river. Purple. Yeah. There's one turn off on that, apparently. Well, it, this, this would probably take me two turns to get to. Uh, with the river modification, hopefully it'll only be one. After the next turn. Okay, I don't need to send all of these armies then. You guys can come back here, actually. Um, you know, we might be able to take that if we... Recruit some units. Eight twenty five, nine sixty nine. Um, yeah, I don't know how accurate these army power numbers are. I think I can take it, but it's uh, it's gonna be a rough fight. Okay, you survived. You know what, Penguin? You come back home. I need to start doing a lot more clearing. Exploring at this point is only minimally useful. Just wanted to quickly check that. I uh, might as well move the whole stack in because I'll ah, chase them down. Because one move, one unit being slow is going to make everybody slow. Okay, we've cleared up. We don't have a quest to be killing a bunch of those. I thought we had a quest to kill the spacers. Why am I not getting quest rewards? Uh, 6 out of 10. I guess I'm not killing that many spacer units. Okay. But that food boost allows you guys to expand. Um, we could just grab this now and get the, uh, the happiness boost. Yeah, that's probably not a bad option. Make another energy sector out of it. More energy. Got some crates there to pick up. Okay, yeah, don't do that, because then I'm stuck. So I guess what we actually want to do is come around this way. So that we're not trespassing. I'm just building happiness structures everywhere right now. Okay, they just spent influence for that, pretty sure. The sea is up because it looked like they took it out with a single unit. Operational prowess uh, isn't necessarily a bad thing to have, but I don't have the energy or influence to spare on that kind of stuff right now. Okay, what does the colony district look like for the assembly? Assembly Specialist Center, where colonists can be trained to work as reactor workers. 
structure can later be upgraded after annexing residential exploitation sectors to the colony. Okay. So it looks like we're trading happiness for Cosmite. Hmm, not really that exciting, honestly. I think I want this neural interfacing data core. Scrap clan. Ah, oh, I'm being attacked again, huh? I will be pwned. Well, that's not a very strong army for the pwnage, and I happen to be well situated to deal with this one. In fact, I'm probably just going to clear this out, too, uh, while I'm at it. So if I clear that, more science for my main base. Obviously, that's the uh, the first thing I'm going to do here. Well, first thing I'm going to do is deal with all these messages. Cult of Salad. Are we going to hunt down some vegetarians? Let us hunt down vegetarians. Three units plus one that is stealth. Okay. Oh. Okay, well. Uh, unexploited sector, yeah, you're kind of busy. Your production's not the best. Um, that's what happens when you don't invest in production at all. Production ready. Yeah, here's where we here's where we build things. Uh, diplomatic analysis wing. Definitely want more influence. I haven't forgotten about the quest, it's just that I have other priorities at the moment. Sector annexed. Production ready. Um building all of these. Wow, I so much to do. So much to build. Society research or military research, 25% either way. Uh, this might not be a bad military base, actually, except for the fact that their production sucks. Uh, never mind. Um, probably going to invest in society first. Happiness event in colony. All right, you come home. You're supposedly a decent fighter at tier two, so I make you work. Easy. Yeah. Lots of research. Plus a permanent boost to the base. Pretty significant boost. Okay, you're probably going to come out this way. Because... I guess you can only really heal two of my units. But that is uh, two units that you can heal, so it'll give you something to do. And I'm going to have to do all those fights manually. There's no way the AI is going to be able to handle that, because the, uh, the advantage is to the enemy to begin with. I'm probably going to lose units there. But I'm going to be clearing these quests and getting my relationships up with the NPC. NPC factions. All right, and you can make it. That's quite the army. What's my relationship with you like? Pretty good. You're the one I have a non-aggression pact with. That's good to know. Okay. Yeah, just signing these diplomatic pacts and not really paying too much attention to the state of the world. Uh, no, I want you to be safe. And in fact, you're in a, you have a rivalry with the other Devar faction, right? Although they both Devar factions actually kind of like me, so maybe I just won't do anything. Uh, what I will do... Uh, nice. Take out the base. Get myself a Blade Maw. That's pretty cool. Um, Trans Sniper. Bionic-based sniping weapon. Eh. Don't really care. I will take the unit, though. Um, unfortunately, it's not mechanical, so... Uh, I could make it integrated, though. Still wouldn't be mechanical, which would be an issue. I don't remember these being too terrible of units. And with that, I can probably start clearing out this stuff. Is that a sector that I'm going to want eventually? Well, I'm probably going to want both of these. Cosmite and a bunch of production. Yeah, I'll probably start getting my production up. Even if I'm not building production sectors here, just the plus 10 is nice. I don't need that plus 5 necessarily. Could I do food here? 
kind of want that. Or I could do a residential. I could actually just do residential here. And I'd get the food bonus from the river. I would get the production bonus from the quarry. Uh, I already have two research sectors, so I can't do research here. So actually, this is a very strong candidate for residential then. Start taking advantage of these extra sectors, which I've never used, I think, in any... I might have built one just for the sake of building one in one of the previous campaigns. But... Um... Never intentionally used it as a strategy before. Okay, well, get that diplomatic wing. That'll be nice. No, that's fine. You happen to be in position. Oh, what happened there? Uh, we'll take the research. Thank you very much. Should be able to take that without too much problem. Um, it still is an energy sector. Okay, so it wasn't destroyed or anything. Pacifist. Uh, dealing with players with a low combat ranking and players with a high reputation. Dislikes players that have defeated other players. Okay. Production ready. Good. We have our... our capital's growing pretty slow. Uh, definitely want to get that Cosmite income up. Because once you start spending that Cosmite, you burn through it. So having a huge stockpile... Production ready. Not the worst thing. Okay, we got some happiness. Let's get some more happiness. Now uh, that's plus six out of curiosity. Oh, uh, this is also plus six. Okay, so they are the same. I thought it was plus ten for some reason. I'm probably thinking of the stadium, right? Yeah, okay. Operations available for priming. Okay. Happiness event in Colony. And you guys are just uh, going here. Going places. Which one do I want to expand to? Probably this one first. If I'm just making these into residential sectors, this one has Cosmite. And other than that, they're pretty much the same. That's going to be a fight. Um, probably going to lose the Blade Maw and maybe other units as well. Nope, that didn't happen. a lot of tactical combat this time around, which is fine. I like the tactical combat. It's just that I like to make progress and keep things moving. That's usually why I skip it. But, uh, I don't mind doing it uh, as long as I'm not spending too much time with it. But especially since in this game, unlike in Age of Wonders 3, uh, you don't have to worry about... Um, giving out your experience to your heroes. Because in Age of Wonders 3, you last, the last hit gets the experience. Whereas in this game, experience is spread among all participating units. Wait, this is AoE? Fireburst ammunition. Okay, well... If they decide to do it, they decide to do it.
Range 7. These are all going to be range 7, right? No rail accelerators here. And... Right, you. I should build more of these. These are really good. Technically, I am in range. But you know what? I should actually back off then. Force them to leave their comfy little nest if they want to. I'm still gonna be out of range. If they want to attack me. I dislike the delay that happens on a lot of these, where I, I do an action and then... Nice. Ah, uh, that was a little bit less nice. Okay, Blade Maw's gonna be able to snipe here. That's what I like to see. Ah, not so much. Operations available. The okay, operations. Anything I want to do with that? Okay, that's nice for a couple of reasons. You're now on lava. Or on this, um, great. So you're going to take burning damage. You're also going to take... Um... Back stagger. Have a chance there. I think you're just dead. Nice. Uh, you were concussed, right? Hmm. Well, if I lose one unit, I can reassemble it. So losing you is fine. Uh, you have a chance to stagger. Go for it. That is why we invest in accuracy. Okay, you can't get anywhere, but you can be a target. Actually. Please take you out. It's not good odds. Enemy annihilated. Nice. Wait. No, that was not nice. You just killed my own I just killed my own unit. I should have done that first. Oh well. Chance. Killed. Good enough. Uh, fire takes place at the end of the turn, I guess. That's unfortunate. Concussion. Mm. Yeah, 
Yep. Unit disconnected. That was expected. That really was their best Enemy play there to just shoot me. I can do that. Um Let's try this, in case resisted, but we didn't miss. Uh, you don't get to do anything for a turn, that's right, I remember how the Devar work. They're fun. Yeah, I need to take you out. You're... Enemy destroyed. Too much damage potential. You might die. You can get a stagger. Okay, Blade Maw was not long for this world. Might as well do a heal. Our forces are victorious. A little bit unfortunate that we lost the Blade Maw. We did get a nice uh, little windfall there for doing it. And oh, you guys are. Never mind, I shouldn't have done that movement. Uh, you guys are both autonomes, so I have to bribe you both to leave. Okay, uh, that's doable. It's just going to be a little bit time intensive to get those resources up. Uh, you're already max level. Nice. Stunning discharge. Built-in discharge module. When activated, it deals damage to all adjacent friendly and enemy units. Okay. Uh, so stun all adjacent units. Uh, that's pretty cool, but, um, I mean, you're short range, but you're not melee. Spore feeding. Biological and cyborg units in the hero's army regain 15 health when they kill a biological or cyborg unit within three hexes of them. That sounds amazing. Let's grab that. Um, anything else that we can take for three? Not really. Uh, more accuracy from cover. Actually, that might be good, because your accuracy really... Well, the thing was behind cover. That's why we were missing. Um, Overwatch actually wouldn't be bad on this, because it doesn't have Overwatch as it is. Alright, well, that's been an hour, so that's where we're going to call it for today. Uh, just kind of more of uh, the same we were doing last time. I guess a lot less on the quest completion a uh, aspect of things, but... You know, clearing stuff out, building up our economy, getting things getting things started for a long game. And it actually looks like we're fairly friendly, with the exception of this one Vanguard commander. Um, okay, the Hero don't like me too much either, but everybody else is relatively positive towards us. So we're not going to have, you know, a war on three fronts with teleporters coming in everywhere, so this should be a lot easier than the previous mission. Um, hmm. So, leading some quests next time, hopefully. I will see you then.